Well, it's June 1st and Pride Month kicks off today. And Boston is starting its festivities with a celebration of LGBTQ pioneers. WBZ's Brandon Truitt is live on City Hall Plaza tonight. Brandon? So hey, Lisa and David. So the kickoff is happening behind us. We just heard from the mayor and the governor, but a lot of the attention is on this portraits of Pride installation here on City Hall Plaza. I want to show you what this does. These are larger than life pictures of people in the greater Boston area who have made a lasting impact on the LGBTQ community. And I'd like for you to meet one of them. You don't plan these things in life. I mean, Dr. Ken Mayer is one of the most influential voices in infectious disease you've probably never heard of. Mayer moved to Boston in 1977, but found his calling a few years later when he joined Finway Health, unknowingly creating its research division, now known as the Finway Institute. So I set that up in um, early 1980, and within a year, the AIDS epidemic hit. And that sort of the rest is history. That history includes groundbreaking work, including co authoring the first public text on HIV. It provided the first insights into its transmission and prevention. Mayor also collected the first sample of HIV for testing right here in Boston. We actually sent the first specimens to the NIH to be tested for what came to be known as HIV. At the time, it was called HCLV3. And David Scott. He was studying it before it even had a name. It took 14 years to go from outbreak to medical breakthrough. Mayor lost friends along the way while feeling pressure to find a cure. It felt like a war zone. People who were in the middle of it felt like they were, were in a fight because the, there were people dropping right and left, and you didn't know who was going to get sick. Mayor is being recognized for his decades of work as one of this year's Portraits of Pride. It's a great honor to be recognized by the community, and some of the other people are uh, among my heroes and heroines, so it's really a uh, good company to be in. <laughs> You cannot overstate the impact of Dr. Mayer on public health, particularly in Massachusetts. These pictures are going to be out at City Hall Plaza in Boston for the entire month of June. The celebration happening now lasts until 7 o'clock. We're live in Boston. Brandon True at WBZ News.